Hello everybody, this is Jason from Blue Weather, and today we're going to look at whether or not the gas stations that we buy from every day, uh, whether they're top tier, and does it even, even make a difference where we buy gas. Here's some facts from AAA. 63% of U.S. drivers believe there is a difference in quality of gasoline sold by different gas stations, but only 12% choose a gas station based on fuel quality. What do you decide? Here's a top tier licensed retail brand list. Some of the noticeable ones on here you'll see is Sitgo, Exxon, Shell, Marathon, Mobile to name a few. What about the gas station you buy from daily? Is it on this list? Does it even matter to you? And why exactly do you choose the gas station that you choose? Is it because of location, price, or does it really matter to you what detergents is in the gasoline that could or could not protect your motor? Here's some facts. Three quarters of U.S. drivers decide where to fuel up based on station location or price. Nearly one third of U.S. drivers choose based on rewards program. I myself, I know Shell offers five cents off. That's why I go to Shell. Only 12% of U.S. drivers select a station based on whether its gasoline contains an enhanced detergent package. They all claim they have some kind of special ingredients in there to protect your motor. But are, is it really true? Nearly half of U.S. drivers don't regularly buy gasoline that contains an enhanced detergent additive. Men are more likely than women to regularly buy gasoline that contains an enhanced detergent package as are baby boomers compared to millennials. So it kind of defeats the purpose though. If uh, the woman goes out and buys gasoline just anywhere and the man, uh, he prefers a certain kind, it's kind of defeating the purpose. Here's some more from AAA. Among brands tested, non-top tier gasolines cause 19 times more engine deposits than top tier brands after just 4,000 miles of simulated driving. Such carbon deposits are known to reduce fuel economy, increase emissions, and negatively impact vehicle performance, particularly on newer vehicles. But what it comes down to is you you will have to decide this many gas stations out here are making many different claims of why their gas is better than the other guys um comes down to it many of us just look for that lowest tag some of us some of us will even drive halfway across town to save three cents a gallon and if you really look at it by the time you did that did you even save anything i mean if you saved $50 in a year's time buying gas for three cents cheaper, I mean, can you realistically say that it was worth it? I doubt it. But there is some rewards programs out there that is decent. But this video should help us decide whether or not gas makes a difference in our vehicles. But I, in conclusion, I would say that the majority of us probably don't even look at that unless we've had past experiences. I remember the old vehicles, how uh, the valves would chatter and everything else if the gas quality is not as good. But I've noticed in these new vehicles, it really don't do that. Um, so you really can't tell what's good gas, bad gas. But like I said, in the day, you have to decide. Appreciate you following me here. If you would like this video, subscribe below. If you're still on here listening to this whole video, which I hope you are, Blue Weather is also on Facebook. Check us out there. And as always, have a wonderful day.